yeah so now coming for through air systems naval, naval systems we have come to the land systems now what mbda has to offer to this region at defia this year in terms of land system and i am with i'm with frederick Michelle from MBDA, who's going to tell us more about the land systems displayed here. Thank you so much for your time, Frederick. Over to you. So, um, so MBDA has a wide portfolio for the land domain. Uh, it corresponds to different uh, ranges and needs. Uh, basically, we are uh, at the core of the family. We have the Acuron family is made of uh, Acron MP or medium range missile up to 4 km meter in service in France, in Sweden, in, soon in Belgium, in Luxembourg, and also in Egypt, another, another area uh, in the Middle East. And uh, a suitable missile for the infantry, for the cavalry, and also for Navy. We are currently extending the family around the Acron technology with the Acron LP, which is longer range. Up to 8 km fire from ground, 10 km from helicopter, 20 km from the drone. And this missile can be also not only fire from air platform but from land platform and naval platform. So we are. This site is two new missiles. We have on the right our Brimstone, which has initially. Anti-tank system fire from air, from fighters, and also helicopter. It can be also fired from ground platform. And at the lower part, enforcer, which is short range. Today, mostly designed for anti-light armor and anti-personnel. But we will probably extend it to anti-armor capability. So based on these uh, different topics, I will start with the Acron MP. Basically, the missile, you can see it. So, this is a system which has a unique definition and that matches the need, as I said, that the infantry, the cavalry, and also the navy. <laughs> it is a highly flexible munition, uh, it has a multi purpose warhead with anti armor capability, anti personnel, and also anti infrastructure capability. So on the battlefield, just by selecting the proper mode, the operator can have the right little effect with the single munition. So it simplifies the logistics. You don't have to carry different types of missile. And when making it, you are always certain to have the right munition with you. Combat situation are very versatile. So Acron MP offers the possibility to the gunner to fire either in infrared band or in television band, invisible band. This shot is made before the firing in accordance with the visibility conditions and the nature of the target. Besides, you have several trajectory available of lofty trajectory allowing top attack against tank with highly diving capabilities and the flat trajectories optimal for anti-infrastructure and also minimize the altitude of the missile which is be of convenience in case of having attack helicopter on the combat area, some drones or very low cloud sailing. Finally, two modes of seeker, infrared, visible band, three modes for the three capabilities with the warhead, two trajectories, but in addition to that, Arcon MP offers a unique capability by allowing the transmission, the downstreaming in real time of all the videos coming from the seeker to the gunner. So the gunner can, during the firing, see exactly what sees the missiles and supervise the mission. He can then change the target optimize the aiming point on the target for improved efficiency, abort the mission in case of risk of casualties to friendly troops or civilians, or simply engage a target which was not visible from its initial firing position. And this is this mode is lock-on after launch, while the other modes, when you can see the target from your initial firing position, 
is lock on before launch. So finding a target which is not visible can be done either by observing the landset, the uh, landscape. You can have for typically a target initially visible and then hiding itself behind an obstacle. In that case, the gunner can directly make the assumption the target is here and engage the target. But now we are in the modern days we have all uh, small drones are spreading in all armies and we have worked within NBDA to optimize the coupling of small UAVs with the accurate systems. And then you can use the small drone to scoot behind the hills, even beyond the visual capabilities of the accurate monkey, to detect the target, help to its location, and then transmit this information of context to the accurate MP firing post. In that case, all the, the system makes an automatic and fast, very quick so-called mission planning. The trajectory of the munition is prepared. The seeker of the missile is oriented in the direction of the target. So the gunner adjusts, press the fire button, and then screen um, the videos coming from the missile to detect the target. And with the interface of the system, design the target to the missile and then so it's a very unique capability which is done by the fact we have very good video images coming from the missile which help the gunner to very easily find the target and also by the fact that we have a navigation system on board the missile. Right. So all these innovations make the M Actron MP the first representative of a fifth generation missile, already in service, already combat proven. And this capability is assayed also for the cavalry. We are already now facing high intensity conflict, where the firepower is very important. So, accurate system is not only a missile where the man can supervise the mission with man in the loop. A lot of paper have been put also on the lock on before launch at maximum range and with the fire and forget capability. So on board the missile, you can also select the target at maximum range, press, engage it and immediately, fire a second missile if you are firing from a turret or prepare a second firing uh, for with the, the firing cost. So we have also not neglecting at all the fire and forget capability up to four kilometers uh, which is again uh, something very important and made possible as we have very good optronics and this capability is also linked to uh, advanced image processing um, we are using different type of image processing technique and making a data fusion based of interstitial intelligence technique to have a kind of 3D model of the combat situation to optimize the guidance. But so it's a very modern, uh, maintenance free, suitable for land operation in the open, on the field, in mountainous situation, also in urban situation, as the missile can be fired from confined space, very small room, uh, with uh, no operational constraints. To make it more uh, suitable uh, in operation, we have possibility to connect a weapon terminal, a small pad, mm -hmm. at, uh, for the team leader, so that the team leader can have in real time a copy of all the videos coming from the firing post, either from the observation uh, camera or from the seeker, so that it can in real time interact with the gunner for improved operational efficiency. For naval application, we have exactly the same configuration, the same system, with special mode to help locking targets at sea, even from a moving, moving platform, even when there is some angular movement on the plane, which could make locking on uh, the targets more difficult. Mm -hmm. So it's a very versatile system, and we are very pleased to offer it not only for our own nations in Europe, but also proposing this system in cooperation with uh, the Indian industry to, to India. Based on the technical success 
dia que eu nem vi, você não tem que ir, o canal Proposing Developing Action LP. So Action LP has a lot, shares a lot of features with the Action LP in terms of seeker, image processing, etc. But as additional sensor, and is a unique missile which has in addition a semi-active laser channel to help looking at very long range uh, targets thanks to laser designation and also optimize coordination with special forces on the ground with laser designator. So we have a very flexible mode where you can shift from one band to another during the fight of the missile. Uh, we have a multi again a multiple uh, multi-purpose warhead. In the same munition we keep the anti-armor capability of the Akron MP, which is excellent and today the reference. We keep the anti-personnel, which is very useful to neutralize uh, mortar groups, to neutralize VIP people in light armor vehicle. But we have reinforced the anti-infrastructure capability as we have a breaching mode code, which allows the missile to penetrate buildings and explode within the infrastructure. And this mode allowed also to penetrate within pulse of ship and increase the damage onto the ship. So this is very unique today to have such modes in one single missile, which makes finally accurate LP a kind of Swiss knife with a range up typically to 10 kilometers from helicopter, 20 from drone, and 8 from the ground. Okay. Due to the longer range, of the missile due to also the fact that it will be fired from moving platform extensively. The fiber optic link between the missile and the gunner has been uh, suppressed and replaced by a radio link which enables the missile to maneuver uh, without any constraints. And we have uh, put a big effort to have a very powerful data link which is insensitive to jamming while keeping a good video transmission to make the job of the operator always very simple. The image quality of the missile will not be degraded by the area okay. So this is a very an extension of the Acron family, which brings really uh, the Acron, the NVIDIA family in terms of battlefield at the top level of the technology. So is this already been, its work is going on on this or? Yes, yes, the development. We have already performed several trials, injection trials, Warrior trials against uh, impenetration. Mm -hmm. We will perform four firings uh, from the missile beginning of next year from the ground. Okay. So it's a very uh, unique opportunity uh, to increase, and we keep also the possibility of the missile to have the same mode of operation, locking before launch, locking after launch, relocking, changing the, the target in flight, etc. Okay. Thank you so much, Frederick. Uh, but one thing I would like to ask, so you had, when we were discussing, you told me that yes. this is already in the NATO forces, it's already in the NATO countries. So what about the Mediterranean countries? The Mediterranean, area? so uh, we are uh, proposing our, uh, it's uh, Acron MP uh, is really, is in service only for six years mm -hmm. now in the French Army. So we have been uh, having a uh, different prospects. Um, now, every nation has its own calendar in terms of procurement plan. Now we are entering a phase where we can uh, have an opportunity to, to promote the system we hope to, to Greece. Yeah. And uh, I, I hope will be uh, selected by, uh, by Greece, which is an historical customer mm -hmm. of Embedia uh, anti-armor uh, uh, missile like the Milan, yes. which was a very successful and a reference during many years yeah. uh, in the past. Thank you so much, Frederick. Thanks a lot for your time and very well explained and beautifully explained the missile. Thanks, Adam. Thank you for your visit.